let's maximize the value of the podcast interview. We're going to blow through this because this is really important. This is, you've got to squeeze the juice out of every interview that you do. You go through all the headache and the hassle and the, the, the heartache to getting booked on a show. You do the show. Now we got to go out and squeeze that out. That's another reason why I love um, this program and course because Maria and Ray are really going to spend some time focusing on how to squeeze the juice out of every single interview. So you want to use social media not only to promote when you're on a show, but promote the show. In fact, I would actually start promoting shows of shows you want to be on to show the host that you're willing to play ball. Okay. And we've got to have you play where your ideal customers actually are. We threw together some things you could do. You could add a transcript um, and post the complete web version, video version, and written version on your website as a blog. You put a button or a banner on your site that says you've been interviewed by a, a specific expert. You can write a blog post talking about what you said in the interview, kind of an outside inward approach. Post an article on LinkedIn, create a clip from that, create a guest reel that uh, you can post on YouTube that says, hey, I'm here, I'm available, I've got some valuable information and I think your audience is gonna have a transformative experience, right? When you do your media page, all of those different podcasts should go right on there because remember what I said earlier, a lot of these podcasters are friends with each other. So if they see that you were a, a podcast on Opportunity Thon and they know the promoter of Opportunity Thon, they may invite you to be on their show just simply based on their, um, on their connection point, right? And use your interview to build credibility with prospects. A lot of times when somebody says, hey, I want to, uh, I want to work with you, Instead of me trying to sell them on why they should work with me, I have a couple of interviews I did strategically so that I can just send them the interview and let the interview do the sales work for me. That's a point of leverage. So we talked a little bit about this. Promo the shows that you're on. Once you have a date and time of the broadcast, share the link with your followers, your email list. It adds value. Post it all over your social media. And always, 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 I can't overemphasize this enough, make your show host look amazing, right? The better you make your show host look, the better they're going to see you look and they have a very high likelihood of bringing you back on the show, okay? You can notify your email list every time you do a new interview. You can actually take your interview, your email list and divide it into groups of people that want to hear you when you're on a show and when you're not, okay? Um, um, t -t 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 uh, and always link back to the recording, tag the host and give them credit for being a great host. It's absolutely critical, right? Your best interviews, keep showing them over and over and over and over again. Um, this is huge when other people start seeing which ones you're great at and which ones you may not, or maybe you have bumbled a little bit on.